Now let's create an import file activity in Automation Studio. We can use an import file activity to import data into a subscriber list or a data extension. So let's click the activity and click next. And then we'll name the import activity. We'll give a description. We can put an external key if we'd like, or we can leave it blank. And we can send a notification email to ourselves whenever an import completes and click next. And then we are at the import file section of the import activity. And we can choose where the file location is for the data that we want to import. And this is a current view of our chosen file location. And we can create the file naming pattern. So we can put a name here and we can insert date variables like year, month, day, hour, minute, and second. You can put this file naming pattern however you'd like. So this is what our file name is going to look like based on the file naming pattern. And we can choose the date format, the delimiter for our file, and we can choose to respect double quotes as a text delimiter and to skip rows with bad data. And we can choose advanced file options. And we can choose any of these options for advanced file options. And then we can click next. And then we can choose the data extension or the subscriber list to add this data to. So we'll choose the demo extension that we created in an earlier video and click next. And then we can choose to add only, update only, to add an update or to overwrite. I'll click overwrite and we can map by header row, by ordinal or map manually. I'll click map by header row and click next. And we get a review of our import file activity. We get activity info, the destination data extension that it will arrive in, the import file, and the mapping data. And we can choose to edit any of this information if it doesn't look correct. But if it does look correct, we just press finish. And that's how you create a file import definition in Automation Studio.